Last week, I was invited to go to Paris with Huawei for the launch of their newest smartphone, the P30 Pro. The last time I was in Paris, I was just 12 years old and didn't remember anything about it except for the fact that there is the Eiffel Tower. So even though I was traveling on a couple hours of sleep after just landing from another destination a couple days prior, I packed my bags and headed off to the city of love to see what it was able to offer. And I've got to say, after testing the camera out in one of the most beautiful destinations in the world, there's really not much not to love about the Huawei P30 Pro's new camera setup. Paris definitely lives up to the hype, it's crowded, there's a ton of people selling stuff on the streets, the food is amazing, and if you haven't heard of the city before, I definitely recommend you go ahead and check it out. The main camera has a 40 megapixel f1.6 with a 27 millimeter focal range, accompanied by a 20 megapixel f2.2 Leica wide camera with a 16 millimeter focal range for your nice wide shots. I think one of the most impressive things that I've seen on a recent smartphone though is the fact that this device has an 8 megapixel f3.4 zoom camera. This gives the camera a 5x optical zoom with a focal range of 125 millimeters. This is one of the most unique engineering things that I've seen on a smartphone to date because the size of an optical zoom lens is typically too large to fit in a smartphone. What Huawei has done here is a periscope telephoto setup which actually reflects off a mirror to enable you to have 5x zoom on a phone. In addition to that, this device also has a 10x hybrid zoom which actually looks really good and when you compare the 5x and the 10x, the images are actually still very usable. The phone is actually able to go up all the way to 50x digital zoom at 1343mm focal range, but honestly, I probably would stick to 10x and 5x. The P30 Pro also utilizes an RYYB color space compared to RGGB which gives it better low light performance. By using night mode you can see that this camera is really able to capture photos in the dark which in many situations would completely crumble. As for video, this device is able to capture at 4K 30 frames per second and overall I think the most impressive thing was the optical image stabilization. It is perhaps one of the best stabilization that I've seen on a smartphone to date. In addition to that, there is also the option to record in multiple focal ranges at once, which is a feature that will come in a future software update. On the front you're going to find a 32 megapixel f2.0 camera that is nice and wide for all your selfies and that can record at 1080p 30 frames per second which is a good improvement from last year at least when it comes to photo quality. The fourth and final camera found on the back of the Huawei P30 Pro is a time of flight sensor which is great for depth sensing especially in the portrait mode. This essentially gives the device an enhanced ability to be able to detect stuff like hair or sunglasses and elements that seem to normally have troubles in portrait photos on smartphones. I was honestly very skeptical when it came to the 5X and 10X cam, but after actually being able to use the device and looking at the samples, I really think they do speak for themselves. 
Otherwise, I had a really great time testing out this device and checking out the new smartphone in the few days that I had in Paris, and I'll see you guys in the next travel film.